Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and I'm very excited to be able to demonstrate 1CNC XR7. Now, 1CNC XR7 is a full-featured CAD CAM system that's very easy to use, very user-intuitive, and also very powerful. Now, why don't we begin with taking a look at the user interface. Now, the main center area, this is your main workplace, and this is where you're going to apply your CAD operations and your CAM operations. If you want to, you can start from scratch, create your geometry, and apply toolpath, or you can also import geometry from other CAD systems and easily apply toolpath. On the left hand side of the screen, this is your main toolbar. This has all your CAD tools and your CAM tools. On the right hand side of the screen, this is a multi-purpose toolbar. You have your NC manager, which allows you to work with your machining operations. And then you have an array of very powerful browsers located in the lower right hand corner. The Verify browser, History browser, Recent File browser, and a Layer browser. Very, very nice. Now one of the unique features of 1CNC is the ability to work with multiple documents. So if we take a look here, you can see that I can open up the beam plate and I can work with this without having to open up another instance of 1CNC. It's very simple and very easy to switch back and forth between files. So remember, 1CNC is a multiple document application. In fact, you can even cut, copy, and paste geometry from one file to another file if you'd like to. Now, another unique feature of 1CNC XR7 is the ability to work semi-full screen or full screen. Now, what this does is provides the ability to take advantage of many different monitor sizes. Let me demonstrate. If I take my cursor over here to the left-hand side of the screen and click on this little button, you can see we can easily collapse that left toolbar. We can do the same to the right-hand side of the screen as well. Just simply click on that little button and that right toolbar will disappear. Now we can work full screen and we can utilize all of our drop-down menus, toolbars, or custom toolbar to get all of our CAD or CAM work done. This is a very, very nice, powerful feature provided by 1CNC XR7. Now 1CNC also provides a very easy, straightforward approach to adding dimensions and text. Let's demonstrate using this new shape. I'm going to start by panning and zooming in just a little bit. Let's go back to our main toolbar. We're going to select dimensions. Let's go with a horizontal dimension. I'm going to simply left click that piece of geometry, left click that piece of geometry, just drag the location down and left click. And once I do that, I now have the ability to modify the attributes of this dimension. I'm going to say that looks great. So we're going to click OK. And there we go. Now let's give you another example. What we're going to do now is we're going to create a diametrical dimension going to left click here, going to drag this down and let's make some changes to that. So instead of just having the dimension, why don't we add something like typical for places? Very easy to do. And then when I click OK, you can see now that we have some nice descriptive text added to our inline dimension there. Very, very nice. Now let's take a look at another quick way we can add dimensions to a part. In fact, let's focus on a solid model. Now this can be quickly accomplished by using the pages command. So we're going to select pages. First thing we want to do is select a template. These are the predefined templates you can select from or you can create your own templates if you'd like. I'm going to use that one and click OK. Now what we can do is quickly add different views of our solid model. In fact, let's start with the top view. There's a nice preview of the view. I'm going to use place view on page. I'm just going to take my cursor and left hand click there. How about a front view? So I'm going to select front view. Again, there's a nice preview of the view. We're going to use place view on page. I'll use the alignment grid and just left click. How about isometric? Again, there's the preview. That looks great. Place view on page. And I'm just going to left click right about there. All right, so this is called page space. And if I were to use these arrows, I can easily move back and forth between model space and page space. Now, the reason why this is so important is because you can make modifications to your solid model and those modifications will show up within page space. In fact, let's create a circle here and I'm just going to use the extrude cut command. Just going to cut a hole through there. That looks good. I no longer need this circle up here, so let's get rid of him. Now if we go back into our pages, that looks good. Let's bring our menu back up and we can choose this option called update page. And what you're going to find is all three of those views are going to update with that hole. And there we go. Now the next thing you can do is you can add dimensions. Now adding dimensions to this is just as easy as adding dimensions to a 2D part. Let's demonstrate. Back over to the main toolbar, we're going to select our dimensions option. Let's start with a horizontal dimension. We're going to left click and left click. Push the dimension up where you want it and left click. That looks good, so I'm going to click OK to that. 
I'm not going to dimension the whole thing. I just want to give you an idea of what it's like to add dimensions within page space. And you're going to find it's identical to adding dimensions within model space. So that looks good there. And why don't we finish up with a diametrical dimension. Let's grab that inner circle there and place that right about there. And that looks great. Okay, so that's using the pages command within one CNC to quickly add dimensions to a solid model. Very nice. Take a look at applying toolpath to our geometry using one CNC. Now you can apply toolpath to wireframe geometry, solids, or surfaces. The procedure I'm going to demonstrate is exactly the same within one CNC mill, lathe, wire EDM, laser, plasma, or router. Let's first take a look on the right hand side of the screen where the NC manager is. That's where you store all your machining operations. You can see I've already performed a whole operation here. Now let's take a look over on the left hand side of the screen within the cam area. For milling you have stock tool paths. These are your two and a half axis tool paths. You also have model tool paths. These are your three axis tool paths. And then you also have simultaneous tool paths. And that's your various four axis and five axis commands in there. Let's start with high speed pocketing. We're going to select the geometry. This first dialog box, this is where you're going to select a tool. Now you can manually create a tool by typing in values. And as you do that, the graphics will update over there on the left hand side. That's a very powerful feature within one CNC. You can also select from a list of tool holders or manually or parametrically create holders if you'd like. That looks very good. Now if you want to, you can select a tool from the tool library by clicking on tool changer. Let's go with a, how about a three quarter inch high speed end mill. I want you to do that. The speeds and feeds are automatically calculated based upon the material you have. If I change it from aluminum to copper, you can see the speeds and feeds change. Let's put that back to aluminum billet now. I think that looks very good. Now let's take a look also at the feed control. The first thing I'm going to do is change my turret position to turret position number one. But let's go into feed control. Now feed control is going to reduce your cycle time as well as extend the life of your tooling. Let's demonstrate. Within the feed control you can see that you can make the tool slow down as it approaches a sharp corner. And you can also make the tool slow down when it machines small arcs. You can control the size of the arcs and the distance before sharp corners over here on the left. And you can also control the percentage of feed rate that's going to be changed as well. Now once you do that, you can up these feed rates. In fact, I'm going to up this to 25 inches a minute. And that's because these feed rates are going to be applied to straight vector cuts and to circles that are larger in radius than what we've specified here within the feed control. All right, so this is going to reduce the cycle time. Very nice feature. Let's click next. Here's a dynamic dialog box that shows our different clearances and different Z depths in that. For example, the uh, rapid Z plane is represented by that red grid. So if I change that to one, you can see that dynamically changes. Also notice that we're seeing our part in here, which is also very nice, very nice feedback. For a, a Z depth, if you want to, you can select pick Z and actually snap on the geometry and one CNC will populate the proper Z depth for you. These are the different types of commands or machining operations for pocketing. I'm going to use high speed closed. By the way, high speed machining is available in all the one CNC mill packages. Let's click next on that. We're going to ramp in. In fact, we're going to ramp helix. I have my helix diameter set, my angle set. You can actually ramp in at any location within the pocket, but I'm going to use automatic for this. We're going to click next. All this looks great. My step over looks good. My depth of cut can leave 10 thousandths on the wall there. Don't need an extra finish pass. We'll let one CNC generate the tool path. Very, very nice, very quick and efficient. Now what we're going to do is take a look over here within the pocket operation and I want to show you a preview. I'm just previewing just that machining operation. This gives you a nice representation of the tool interacting with the geometry. Now if you want to see actual material being removed, what you want to use is simulate instead of preview. So let's go to simulate rest. You can use different types of stock. I'm using a solid model here. And there you go, there's our solid model. You can watch the tool removing material. You can speed this up, slow it down, rotate, zoom in, zoom out, back plot, cross section. There's lots of neat things you can do inside of there. You can also turn uh, these different operations on and off and that will tell one CNC to just preview or simulate just those operations. You can also easily reorder the operations by dragging them, which you can see here, it's also very nice. If you want to edit an operation, you can just right hand mouse click and select edit operation. That looks good. Now let's take a look at making a setup sheet. Those are called job sheets within one CNC. This is very nice. This creates a PDF file. So let's view the PDF file. Let's zoom that up just a little bit. You can see that all the pertinent information, cycle time, what machine tool was used, the different tools that were used, 
some nice display here, some nice graphic overview of where the X0, Y0, Z0 is. And then each machining operation is broke down individually so you can see individual cycle times, the tools that were used, and things like the work offset, maximum Z depth, and so on. So very, very nice job sheet provided by 1CNC. 1CNC provides CAD CAM solutions for router, plasma, and laser, 2 and 4 axis wire EDM, 2 axis lathe machining, C axis lathe machining, Y axis lathe machining, B axis lathe machining, 2.5 axis mill machining, 3 axis mill machining, 4 axis position machining, 4 axis wrap machining, 4 axis simultaneous machining, 5 axis position machining, and 5 axis simultaneous machining. Thank you so much for watching and please contact if we can be of assistance.